I'm going to solve uh, this J Main 2023 paper. It's of uh, 29 Jan morning shift. So, चलिए हम solve करते हैं physics में 30 questions हैं uh, बहुत depth में और अच्छे से analysis करेंगे paper का and we'll solve it. So let's start with the uh, first question. You can see uh, it's of Doppler's effect. So the question is a person observes two moving trains A reaching the station and B leaving the station. Dono kya hora? A station ko reach kar and B is leaving the station. Dono ki speed 30 meter per second hai. and the both uh, the train emits both of 30 uh, 300 hertz. Um, frequency of sound. So, what is uh, and the speed of the sound is also given. So, what is the difference in frequencies heard by the person? You can take its its example is just like this. This is train A, many manlia, and this is train B, and the person is here. So, in this case, I think we are getting the sound. Let me check once more. Yeah, no. It's approaching with speed thirty meter per second, and it's receding with speed 30 meter per second or frequency jo emit kar raha suppose jo yahan se frequency aa raha the heard frequency is fa and the heard frequency is fp okay so dono ka difference hame find karna hame pata hai ki fa zyada ho kyunki ye approach kar raha so fa agar aap find karna chaho it's f not means 300 hertz into it's a source. Aap dekh sakta, source is moving. So, yaha mein likh sakta hon. V is velocity of sound. It's a V uh, velocity of sound in air minus this is 30. Ye a source approach kar raha hai. So, I'll get 300 into 330 by 300. So, 330 hertz. Yaha se aega. Now, FB is 300 it's receding away so now it's a uh, so it's 330 divided by 330 plus 30 so it's 300 into 330 by 360 it's a uh, almost uh, if you solve uh, we'll get by six uh, is six times and it's five times by six. It's a five. Um, yeah, it's a sorry. It's five fifty-five. Sorry, it's fifty-five times. Now we'll get two hundred seventy-five of hertz. So the difference delta F agar aap nikalna chahto, it's F A minus F B is three thirty minus two hundred seventy-five. We'll get 55 hertz okay so this is the option so option two is correct okay now let's move to the second part if a radioactive element having half life half life kitni given a it's 30 minute and it's undergoing beta decay kiss me jara beta decay mein jara. the fraction of radioactive element remains undecayed after 30 minutes 90 minutes sorry 90 minutes means it's taking 3 t half ye three times of half time ho so we know that after three half life the undecayed element aap kya nikaloge undecayed element is equal to n naught simply jo initially hai, divided by 2 to the power how much half life it's 3 so simply you can say it's n naught by 8 means it's 1 by 8 or isko formula mein bhi put kar sakte ho but agar half life ta, ke term mein answer hai you should use this formula kyunki it will save your time okay so it's 1 by 8 so the fraction is 1 by 8 so option uh, four is correct. Okay. Now let's move to the next question. If the height of transmitting and receiving antennas are 80 meter each, suppose this is earth or agar ye transmitting antenna, suppose, or ye agar m signal emit kar hai, and the same will be 
80 meter pe hoga. This is the receiving antenna. So we know this distance is under root 2 r height of transmitting antenna. Or ye same agar aap nikalo, it's under root 2 r height of receiving antenna. And ye jo bol rahe, maximum line of sight kitna ho sakta hai? This is the summation. So maximum high or line of sight distance is under root 2 r height of transmitting antenna plus under root 2 r height of receiving antenna okay now this uh, i can take under root 2 r common le sakte hain ya fir solve bhi kar lete hain under root it's 2 into r 6.4 into 10 to power 6 and height is 80 plus under root 2 into 6.4 into 10 to power 6 and the height is 80. If you solve, we'll get this 64 kilometer. My direct my value. So option two is correct. Next. Surface tension of a soap bubble is 2.0 into 10 to power minus 2 Newton per meter. Work done to increase the radius of soap bubble from 3.5 centimeter to 7 centimeter. I find that now. No. So we know that the work done is equal to change in surface energy which is equal to surface tension into A final minus A initial which is S into A final is 4 pi R2 square minus 4 pi R1 square. Now, when you put the value, S is, this is the value of S. So it's 2 into 10 to power minus 2. Or I'm two times. The reason is it's a soap bubble. So if it's a soap bubble, that means there is two surfaces. In this case, there are two surfaces. One inside and one outside. Now, it's 2. 4 pi is common. It's 4 pi and it's R2. R2 is 7 into 10 to power minus 2 whole square minus 3.5 into 10 to power minus 2 whole square. Okay. So when you solve, this will get 18.48 into 10 to power minus 4 of 2. So option 2 will be correct. Next. Which of the following are true? We have to true find true. Okay, let's see. Chara statement hai, unme se hai. Speed of line in, uh, light in vacuum is dependent on the direction of propagation. Nahin. Direction of propagation is dependent on the Now, speed of light in a medium is independent of wavelength. Nahin, wavelength pe depend karta hai. Okay, Because we know that uh, refractive index ko bhi hum wavelength ke, uh, relative wavelength ke term mein bhi define karte hai. That's why true find karna, dono wrong hai. speed of light is independent of the motion of the source yeah speed of light jo, uh, speed of light medium dependent hota hai. it doesn't depend upon the source so in medium ka property so that's why it's correct okay now speed of light in a medium is independent of intensity in intensity is it's only depend upon the property of the medium. So this one is also true. So option four is the correct one. Now let's move to the sixth one. In a cuboid of dimension 2L into 2L into L, a charge Q is placed at the center of the surface S, having area of 4L square. Take um, cuboid banal. Okay. Something like this. I'll make a cuboid. This is the cuboid. Main back portion is another part. This is the back side of the cuboid. If this is 2L, this is 2L, and this is L. Is surface pay charge rakha, which is Q? If you uh, just extend it, if I extension hai, 
like this. Okay. That means इसका extension अगर यहाँ पे है तो आप देखो पूरे अगर cube से मैं बात करूँ so you will have a flux through whole cube is q by epsilon naught लेकिन आप देखो ये एक symmetric position पे यहाँ से इस surface पे जितना flux link होगा similarly इस पे होगा similarly front में back में that means ये six फेसेस से इक्वल फ्लक्स लिंक होने वाला है दैट्स व्हाई हमें जो पूछ रहा है इस क्वेश्चन में इस इस फेस से पूछ रहा है दैट मींस इट्स 1 बाय 6 ऑफ दिस टोटल फ्लक्स सो ऑप्शन 2 इज द करेक्ट वन ओके नाउ लेट्स नेक्स्ट वन द नेक्स्ट इज गिवन बिलो आर टू स्टेटमेंट्स वन इज लेबलड एज असर्शन ए and the uh, other is labeled as reason r okay let's see now if dq and dw represent the heat supplied to the system and the work done on the system humne kya kiya heat supplied and the work done on the system okay respectively then according to first law of thermodynamics is dq minus dw okay sahi hai first law of thermodynamics is based on dq is equal to du plus dw okay now here dw is work done by system lekin hame given a work done on system so we have to take it there is a negative sign here so it's so it's dq is du minus dw so this one is correct so this is correct first law of thermodynamics is based on law of conservation of energy bilkul sahi hai and this is the reason also so that's why the both has a uh, it's option 3 is the correct one now let's move to the next eight now in eight question the threshold wavelength of photoelectric emission from a material is this uh, 5500 angstrom photoelectrons will be emitted when this material is illuminated with monochromatic radiation dekho agar this is the threshold wavelength so isse kam wavelength ki light is pe fall honi chahiye okay otherwise there won't be any photoelectric effect photoelectric emission nahi hoga that means isse kam it's a 5500 angstrom so red ki taraf jayenge to wavelength zyada hota hai red nahi hona chahiye इट शुड बी अल्ट्रा वायलेट रे जैसे ऑप्शन अगर हम देखें तो इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल फ्रॉम रेड बिकॉज रेड की वेबलेंथ इससे ज्यादा होती है इट्स ऑल्सो नॉट पॉसिबल फ्रॉम दिस वी हैव टू अल्ट्रा वायलेट लैम्प और ये पावर पे डिपेंड नहीं करता इट ओनली डिपेंड्स अपॉन द वेबलेंथ एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी मीन वर्क फंक्शन पे डिपेंड करता है दैट्स वाई सी एंड डी बहुत सारे करेक्ट सो ऑप्शन थ्री इज करेक्ट नाउ Now let's see the next one. We have a single current carrying loop of wire carrying current I flowing in an anti-clockwise direction seen from positive z-axis. यहाँ पे थोड़ा axis different given है. It should be अगर हम right hand thumb rule use कर रहे हैं, so it should be x cross y should be along the cos uh, z should be along the x cross y. But इस direction होना चाहिए z. But इसमें दिया है तो will answer according to this question. Okay. so best possible answer mai de raha hu so lying in xy plane the plot of j component means y component of magnetic field humne ko find karna hai at a distance a and on yz plane let's see agar aap yz plane ki baat karte ho yahan par to field ki uh, agar aap direction dekho it's just like this field is going to be like this this is the field ek maine field banaya this is the field now if you see here this is the direction of field and the component this is the by jo hame find karna so you can see it's negative here but here this is by this is magnetic field and its component is bz is in this direction and it's by it's positive now you can see as we move इन्फिनेटी पे तो इसका मैग्नेट्यूड ही ऑलमोस्ट जीरो होगा 
सो इट अगर इन्फिनिटी हम रेज करेंगे तो जीरो एंड इन निगेटिव वैल्यू इट विल गो टू मैक्सिमम और हेयर आप देखो यहाँ पे डायरेक्ट इट विल बी अलॉन्ग जेड एक्सिस so b will be by will be zero at the center jab ye ring se pass karega that means agar aap dekho to this is not possible center pe zero nahi hai yahan we have two cent zero as center but ye positive it should be negative so option 4 is the correct one now position another uh, 10th one in a young's double slit experiment two slits are il illuminated with a light of wavelength 800 nanometer the line joining a a1p is perpendicular to a1a2 okay as shown in the figure if the first minima is detect, detected at p the value of slits separation a will be not let's say we know that y means minima agar if you have to find yn it's a minima the formula we use is 2n minus 1 by 2 it's a lambda into capital d by small n here if we put n is it's a first minimum so just put n is equal to 1 we'll get n y minimum is equal to if you put 1 we'll get 1 by 2 so it's lambda d by 2a is the let's say agar ye yahan se one of the that means ye aap bol sakte ho it's a by 2 so y minimum ki jo value hai this is y minimum ye ek front pe bol raha hai a1 ke samne yaar ban raha hai that means one of the slit ke samne ban raha hai that means y minimum is a by 2 so you can put this is equal to a by 2 so what we have to calculate we have to calculate uh, this a is equal to Let's hmm. calculate this one. It's a square is equal to lambda d. That means a is equal to under root lambda d. Actually, d is given here. Uh, question we miss ho gaya. It's five centimeter. Okay, let me check. It's a five. Yeah, it's five centimeter. So a lambda ki value mein pata hai. It's eight hundred nanometer. So it's eight hundred into ten to the power minus nine meter. D is five into ten to the power minus two, or after calculation we'll get two into ten to the power minus four meter. And zero point two mm is the answer. Now let's move to the eleven. Match list one with two means it's a a dimensions question. Pressure gradient then pressure by change in length length you can say what is the dimension of pressure it's m l minus 1 mlt minus 2 divided by l so it should be m uh 1 okay so it should be uh, like this just one minute Hmm. so this this is equal to you can say it's m l minus 2 t minus 2 so this is it's going to match with third energy density means u by volume energy density its u is ml 2 t minus 2 by l3 so it's m l minus 1 t minus 2 so This is the one is two. Now the C one. C is electric field. Electric field uh, you can find U by Q. So it's M L two T minus two. Q is A into T. So here you find only A here. So this goes to one. If you say one three, one three. These two are not possible. B two is correct. C four is the correct. So option one is the correct. Now oh, twelve. Let's go to the twelve one. It's saying a stone is projected at angle thirty degree. 
to the horizontal the ratio of kinetic energy of stone at point of projection to its kinetic energy at the highest point of you know that agar humne projectile motion projectile ko throw kiya with velocity u or 30 degree to yahan par top most point of velocity u cos 30 hota hai so if this is point 1 or it's point 2 तो एनर्जी ऑफ द स्टोन एट द पॉइंट ऑफ प्रोजेक्शन में हमें के वन बाई के टू फाइंड करना है सो द के वन इज हाफ एम यू स्क्वायर एंड द के टू इज हाफ एम यू कॉस थर्टी स्क्वायर सो यू स्क्वायर कॉस स्क्वायर थर्टी लेट मीन इट्स कॉस स्क्वायर थर्टी सो दिस इज कैंसल आउट सो इट कॉस थर्टी इज वन बाई टू सॉरी इट्स रूट थ्री बाई टू होल स्क्वायर सो इट्स फोर बाई थ्री सो ऑप्शन फोर इज करेक्ट नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फाइंड द म्यूचुअल इंडक्टेंस इन द अरेंजमेंट वेन अ स्मॉल सर्कुलर लूप ऑफ वायर रेडियस आर इज प्लेस्ड इन साइड अ लार्ज स्क्वायर लूप ऑफ वायर ऑफ रेडियस साइड एल ओके एल बहुत बड़ा है ये इसलिए क्योंकि लार्ज कंपेयर टू आर हम वी कैन नॉट एज्यूम द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज यूनिफॉर्म ऑन द सर्कल इसलिए हम क्या करते हैं एल को बहुत बड़ा लेते हैं सो so, पहले हम क्या करेंगे मानते हैं कि सेंटर पे ऑलमोस्ट सेंटर पे जो फील्ड होगी हम मान सकते हैं पूरे इस सर्कल से सर्कुलर लूप से लिंक हो रही है तो सबसे पहले फ्लक्स हम इसे निकालते हैं फ्लक्स के लिए हमें मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एट सर्कुलर लूप फाइंड करना पड़ेगा तो बी एट सर्कुलर लूप इज हम क्या लेते हैं पहले रॉड्स लेते हैं एक रॉड को अगर हम देखें दिस इज 45 डिग्री एंड 45 डिग्री सो द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ड्यू टू वन लूप अगर मैं करेंट मान लेता हूं इट्स आई सो इट्स म्यू नॉट आई बाय फोर पाई आर द डिस्टेंस इज ए बाय टू okay uh, it's l by 2 not a by 2 it's l by 2 the so distance is l by 2 and sin sin 45 the sin 45 aur agar aap dhyan se dekho aise char loops hain char rods hain jo similar magnetic field ek hi direction mein produce kare so i just multiplied with 4 so this 4 is cancel out or b is 2 mu not i by pi l sin 45 is 1 by root 2 and 1 by root 2 it's 2 by root 2 so we are getting root 2 so it's 2 root 2 mu not i by pi l now flux link to the circle is b into area and its b is 2 root 2 mu not i by pi l and area is pi r square so we can write as 2 root 2 mu not r square by l into i this is considered as l mutual inductance means m into i so m if you match it's a option 3 is the correct one theek hai तो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन की तरफ चलते हैं बाइसाइकिल टायर इज फिल्ड विद एयर हैविंग प्रेशर 270 किलो पास्कल है ओके एट 27 डिग्री सेल्सियस द अप्रोक्सीमेट प्रेशर ऑफ द एयर ओके इन द टायर व्हेन प्रेशर इंक्रीजेस टू 36 डिग्री सेल्सियस यू कैन से एज इट्स फिल्ड इन अ Uh, bicycle tires. So we can say the volume is constant. So P we can use P one by T one is equal to P two by T two. So what is the pressure initially is two seventy kilo pascal and T one uh, is three hundred kelvin. It's three hundred kelvin is equal to P two that we have to find upon thirty six degree Celsius. It's three zero nine Kelvin. Okay, so when we put this value, it's two seventy into 
309 by 300 will get kilo pascal so after calculation will get 278 kilo approximately will get 278 kilo pascal okay so option 3 will be the correct one now let's see the next question a car is moving on horizontal curved road with radius 50 meter the approximate maximum speed of car will be a friction between tires and road is this this is the friction so we know that jab bhi ye koi tire move means car move karta hai the frictional force acting on tire provides yeah, it's against the centrifugal force and uh, it's mg and it's normal so we can say friction is equal to mv square by r it's required and fr this friction must be equal to mu into and must be less than equal to okay agar aapko safety chahiye so now it's mv square by r is less than equal to mu n is equal to mg we can say so velocity is less than equal to the max is mu g r so this is the maximum value of velocity so we can say the v max is under root mu is 0.34 g is 10 and r is 50 meter so when will when we will calculate it uh will get 13 meter per second so option 4 is correct now next one which of the uh, following statement is not correct in case of light emitting diode okay that means hame uh, is not correct false statement find karna it is heavily doped pn junction ye sahi statement hai to hame ye find nahi karna hai it emits light only when it is forward bias ye bhi sahi hai it emits light only when it is reverse bias ye galat hai okay it's opposite to this the energy of the light emitted is equal to or slightly less than the energy of yeah, the band gap the energy gap hai unke beech na this is the energy which is emitted by the semiconductor so ye bhi sahi hai to main false find karna so we have only this oh, okay now let's move we have a block of mass in slight sound the plane inclined at 30 degree with acceleration g by 4 so what we have to find the value of coefficient of kinetic friction we know that agar koi block inclined plane which is inclined at 30 yahan pe given hai rakha hua hai to it will have a acceleration a which is equal to g times sin theta minus mu cos theta this is a formula we always use in the class so now a ki value hume pata hai it's g by 4 it's g times sin 30 is 1 by 2 minus mu cos 30 is root 3 by 2 so root 3 by 2 mu is equal to 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 is equal to 1 by 4 so mu is equal to 1 by 2 root 3 so option 3 is the correct one no the next one <coughs> is ratio of thermal energy released in two resistors r and 3r um connected in parallel in an electric circuit is we have to find let's see agar aap dekho power developed agar maine do parallel mein pehle le leta hu resistors it's just like this it's r1 and r2 we know that in case of power in in case in case of parallel combination potential difference is constant so power is equal to p square by r that means power is inversely proportional to radius so we can say p1 by p2 is equal to r2 by r1 or r2 is 3r by r is 3 by 1 so 3 is to 1 is the option one is the correct one now next question two particles of equal mass m moving in circle of radius r under the action of their mutual gravitational attraction the speed of each particle will be let's see agar humne aise do particle le liya 
वन इज हेयर सेकेंड वन इज हेयर मास दोनों का एम है the gravitational force which is acting is this is the gravitational force so this is equal to g m into m by dono ke beech ka distance 2r ho jayega so it's 2r whole square this is equal to mv square circular radius is r so mv square r that means m is cancel out so g m by 4r square is equal to v square by r So velocity is under root g m by four r. Okay, so option two is correct. Now let's see the next one. The magnitude of magnetic induction at midpoint O due to current arrangement as shown in figure. Let's see. आप अगर देखो इस current carrying wire के कारण यहाँ कोई magnetic field नहीं होगा because it's passing from o or same in iske karan bhi nahi aur iske karan bhi nahi now if you see for this this is infinitely long or semi infinite wire and the magnetic field due to this bc if you see it's a dot and same for e and t it's also dot so the net magnetic field that we are going to calculate b due to bc plus b due to et और दोनों सेम ही डायरेक्शन में अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन में बीट इज म्यू नॉट आई बाई फोर पाई आर फोर पाई इंटू डिस्टेंस डिस्टेंस इज ए बाई टू तो इट्स ए बाई टू एंड इट्स डॉट प्लस म्यू नॉट आई ओके सॉरी Two pi a and it's two times. It is dot. So the b net b is mu naught i by pi a. So option first is correct. It's in the, this direction. Just put it arrow sign in. Okay. So option one is correct. Now let's see. Next is it's a uh, twenty one. Uh, In a meter bridge experiment, the balance point is obtained if the gaps are closed by two ohm and three ohm. Let's see. हमने क्या किया? एक meter bridge बना लेते हैं. Now this is a meter bridge. Let's see something like this. The length is hundred meter. We have one resistance. It's two ohm, and it's three ohm. And uh, this is the gap. If you see, this is the balancing point. It's hundred minus L. Now, so we can say it's two by L is equal to three by hundred minus L. So this is equal to two um, hundred minus two L is equal to three L. So five L is equal to two hundred. So L is equal to forty centimeters. So this length is forty centimeters. अगेन अगर आप देखो तो इन सेकंड केस अगर हमने एक स्टंट कर दिया लाइक दिस एक्स सो हेयर द इक्विवेलेंट इज थ्री एक्स बाय थ्री प्लस एक्स इज द इक्विवेलेंट एंड इट शिफ्ट आप जानते कि अगर मैं ये कर रहा हूँ दैट मीन्स पैरेलल में अगर ऐड कर रहा हूँ तो ओवरऑल रेजिस्टेंस या इक्वेलेंट रेजिस्टेंस विल गोइंग टू डिक्रीज दैट मीन्स ये वैल्यू इधर शिफ्ट हो जाएगी इस डायरेक्शन में ये इस डायरेक्शन में शिफ्ट हो जाएगी तो कितना से शिफ्ट हो रही है इट्स सो न्यू लेंथ आई थिंक इट्स गोइंग टू बी फोर्टी माइनस ट्वेंटी ये कुछ इधर आ जाएगी एंड दिस वन जो 60 था ओके सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी 17.5 सेंटीमीटर Or the remaining is going to be eighty-two point five centimeter this side. Okay, 
ना हम लोग कह सकते हैं अगेन इट्स टू डिवाइडेड बाय दिस 17.5 मस्ट बी इक्वल टू 3x बाय 3 प्लस एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय 82.5 ओके इट्स अच्छा मैंने इसका रिवर्स कर दिया सॉरी एक मिस्टेक है ये अगर शिफ्ट होगा तो इस साइड शिफ्ट होगा क्योंकि मैंने इसको डिक्रीज किया है ना सो इट्स गोइंग टू बी फोर्टी प्लस ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फाइव सो इट्स गोइंग टू बी सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर मैंने अपोजिट डायरेक्शन में ले लिया एंड दिस वन इज गोइंग टू बी थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर सो ओनली वॉट वी हैव टू डू इट्स सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट फाइव एंड इट्स थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर ना इफ यू सॉल्व इट जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई दिस थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टू बाई सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट फाइव दिस इज इक्वल टू थ्री एक्स बाई थ्री प्लस एक्स आफ्टर सोल्यूशन विल गेट आर इज इक्वल टू दिस एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू ओम जस्ट सॉल्व इट एंड विल गेट दिस टू ओम एंसर ओके न Let's move to next twenty-two. Uh, radioactive element two forty-two ninety-two emits two alpha particles. So suppose x ninety-two two forty-two. Uh, it's a two forty-two. It emits two alpha. Two alpha particle. One alpha particle. So what happens is that two proton and two neutron are there. So mass number, uh, atomic number decreases by two. and uh, since it's two, तो x uh, it's become p है ना तो मैं ले लेता हूँ इसको एक a ले लेते हैं so it becomes eighty eight and eight से हम decrease करा देते हैं so it becomes two thirty four ठीक है mass number four से decrease हुआ because of this two alpha और eight से is uh, its mass number decrease हुआ and four uh, से atomic number Now we have. Now it goes to B. One electron, it's beta negative. So beta negative in beta negative, one proton converts into sorry, one neutron converts into proton. So mass number एक से बढ़ जाता है. So it's become eighty nine, and it's become um, it's become eighty nine, and it's two thirty four. इसमें कोई चेंज नहीं. Now I am taking C. Two positron. प्रोटॉन कन्वर्ट होता है न्यूट्रॉन में तो दो मास नंबर घट जाएंगे इसमें दो प्रोटॉन सो इट बिकम 87 एंड इट्स 234 सो दिस इज द आंसर सो पी इज 87 नाउ 23 एस शोन इन द फिगर थ्री आइडेंटिकल पोलोरॉइड्स पी1 पी2 एंड पी3 आर प्लेस्ड वन आफ्टर अनदर द पास एक्सिस ऑफ पी2 And P3 are inclined at 60 degree and 90 degree with respect. To, what we know, we have to find the intensity here. If there is any intensity going on, so from a polarite, the intensity is I by two. If an unpolarized polarite passes, the intensity becomes I by two. Now, this axis or this axis will be at angle 68. So here, the intensity is going to be I1. I am going to say I2. I am going to say I1. So I two is I one square I one into cos square sixty degree. This is the angle between both. So I one is already I two I by two, and it's cos sixty one. It's one by four. So it's I by eight. Now, यहाँ पर अब देखो तो ये ninety degree है. That means sixty or ninety. इसके बीच angle thirty है. So here this I final means I three. Is I two cos square thirty degree. So I two is already I by eight and cos square thirty three by uh, it's four root three by two whole square is three by four. So it's three I by um, it's thirty two. So I net jo final aa rahi hai na it's a three by thirty two into intensity is two fifty six. So if you solve By uh, 
and two, it's 16. And it's by 32, I think, uh, if you solve, uh, we'll get 12 times. I think 12, it's uh, eight times. So it's 24 watt per meter square is the final. So option, it's 24 is the answer. Now, next one, two simple uh, harmonic waves having equal amplitude, just one minute. of 8 cm and equal frequency of 10 hertz are moving along the same direction. same direction The resultant amplitude is also 8 cm. Okay. Matlab dono ka amplitude 8 cm or uh, equal frequency ka hai and they combine or phase difference between the um, the individual waves is fine. Karna. Means resultant if we know a1 b 8 cm amplitude ka a2 b 8 cm and the resultant we get is also 8 cm the phase difference nikal lete so we know that r square is a1 square plus a2 square plus 2 a1 a2 cos theta the square it so it's 64 64 plus 64 2 into 64 8 into 8 is 64 cos theta so it's going to be minus 64 is equal to 2 into 60 means uh, 2 into 64 cos theta so cos theta is minus 1 by 2 so theta is equal to 120 degrees so 120 is the phase difference next is 25 now a point charge Q1 is equal to 4, Q0 is placed at origin. We have origin pe place kar diya. That's 4 Q0. Another point charge Q2 is minus Q0 is placed at X is equal to plus 2. Uh, minus Q0 and it's X is equal to 12. Charge of proton is Q0. The proton is placed on x-axis so that the electrostatic force on the proton is, is zero. Okay. So, now see. This reason, if we have the charge ko rakha, Q0, ko, it will be repelled by 4Q0 and attracted by minus Q0. It can't be in equilibrium at this point. Or if we keep it, it will be repelled and, uh, by 4Q0 and it will be attracted by minus Q0. But, this force is strong because larger magnitude charge ke pass hai. but in this reason we can put q naught at distance x se mein leta so se distance ho x minus 12 yahan par kya hoga? minus q naught attract karega and 4 q naught repel ko. so there is a chance it will be in equilibrium so force balance kar dete hain. so the force is 4 q naught ke karan, it's k into q naught into 4 q naught where the distance is x square and minus q naught again the attractive force is k q naught square by x minus 12 whole square okay q naught square is cancel out let's take the root okay so it's p2 by x it's negative sign is equal to uh, 1 by x minus 12 just multiply it it's 2x minus 12 is equal to minus x though uh, it will be plus minus because root se hai na, plus or minus dono ho sakta hai. Agar aap plus lete ho, to you will get uh, if plus humne liya to will get x is equal to hmm, Just one minute. Uh, I have taken it's a uh, four by this. So it's plus minus. Two hmm. uh, x minus twenty two. Sorry, there is a mistake here. Okay. Yeah. Agar humne uh, isko solve karte hain, to hume dikhta hai x is equal to one you will get 24 centimeter and x is equal to 8 centimeter there will be two solution 
इसका मतलब अगर आप देखो तो एट सेंटीमीटर पॉसिबल नहीं है क्योंकि इस रीजन में नहीं आएगा सो द ऑप्शन ट्वेंटी फोर इज द करेक्ट वन सो ट्वेंटी फोर इज द आंसर नाउ वी हैव अ सॉलिड स्क्वेयर ऑफ मास टू के जी इज मेकिंग प्योर रोलिंग ऑन होरिजोंटल सर्फेस होरिजोंटल सर्फेस से प्योर रोलिंग कर रहा है विथ कानेटिक एनर्जी जे आई थिंक इट्स मिसिंग जे इट्स टू टू फोर जीरो जूल द वेलोसिटी ऑफ सेंटर ऑफ मास ऑफ द स्क्वेयर अगर आप कैलकुलेट करना चाहते हो टोटल कानेटिक एनर्जी इज कानेटिक एनर्जी ट्रांसलेशनल प्लस कानेटिक एनर्जी रोटेशनल एंड इट्स इक्वल टू हाफ एम बी स्क्वायर प्लस रोटेशनल इज हाफ आई ओमेगा स्क्वायर एज इट्स इन प्योर रोलिंग आई कैन राइट फर्स्ट आई एज टू बाई फाइव एम आर स्क्वायर फॉर द सॉलिड स्क्वायर एंड ओमेगा स्क्वायर इज वी स्क्वायर बाई आर स्क्वायर इफ यू एड बोथ विल गेट half mv square and it's 1 plus 2 by 5 which is equal to 7 by 5 so 7 by 10 mv square okay now we know that 7 by 10 mv square is equal to it's 2240 joule mass you have it's a 2 so velocity is 2240 into 10 by 7 and mass is 2 Okay, so after calculation, we will get sixteen hundred, and the velocity is forty meter per second. So the answer is forty. Next, okay. The next is a certain elastic conducting metal material is stretched into a circular loop. हमने उसको स्ट्रेच करके लगा सर्कुलर रूप में से रखा है ओके इट इज प्लेस्ड विथ इट्स प्लेन परपेंडिकुलर टू यूनिफॉर्म मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इस रीजन में बी है एंड द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ बी इज 0.8 टेस्ला व्हेन रिलीज द रेडियस ऑफ द टू लूप स्टार्ट्स सिंकिंग एट अ रेट ऑफ 2 सेंटीमीटर पर सेकंड देन सम हैव गिवन अ dr by dt इज इक्वल टू इट्स मैग्नीट्यूड ओके Is two centimeter per second. The sinking is we can take negative also, but magnitude two centimeter per second. The induced EMF in the loop at an instant when radius of the loop is ten centimeter. जब इसका radius decrease होते हुए कितना हो जाए ten centimeter. Okay, and ये भी sink कर रहा है. So we have to find the uh, induced EMF. First, write the flux at this moment. flux is b into a and b is 0.8 tesla and area is pi r square so e induced is negative of minus d5 by dt i am calculating the magnitude so it's like this so here r is chain, uh, is decreasing so 0.5 pi r square integration is 2r into dr by dt okay this is negative sign also So E is equal to zero point eight pi two into R. R is two centimeter per second. So I'm writing two into ten to the power minus two meter per second. Now it's in Tesla and it's two R and dr by dt. Um, I got it's dr by dt. This one is dr by dt, and r is mm, we have given it's ten centimeter, ten into ten to power minus two. Okay. Now, if you calculate this value, we'll get ten into ten to power minus three volt, which is equal to Ten millivolt. Just calculate it, and you will get the value. Next, a zero point four kg mass takes eight second to reach ground when dropped from a certain height p above surface of earth. The loss of potential energy in the last second of fall. First, what we have to do? Last second में वो कितना गिर रहा है ना ये find करना हमारे लिए बहुत जरूरी है. अगर हमने U से रिलीज किया है एंड इट्स द सेकेंड टी इज्वल टू सेवन से टी इज्वल टू एट सेकेंड पे लास्ट फॉल हो रहा है 
so the distance traveled in 8 second is u plus g by 2 into 2 and minus 1 is the formula we are going to use so u is 0 g by 2 is 10 by 2 is 2 into 8 minus 1 so it's 5 into it's 15 so it's 75 meter you travel kar hai, 8 second man. so loss delta u is m g h mass is 0 0.4 g is 10 or h is 75 so it's going to be 300 joule of energy to answer 300 joule only. Now, a body cools from 60 degree Celsius to 40 degree Celsius in six minutes. If temperature of surrounding is 10 degree Celsius, then after next six seconds. So using Newton's law of cooling, this we can solve kar sakte hai. So using Newton's law of cooling, okay. it's uh, T2 minus T1. That means uh, we can write final is 40. So 40 minus 60 by the temperature is 6 is equal to K times. There is some distance. It's minus K is equal to T average. Means 60 plus 40 by 2 minus surrounding is 10. So this is equal to minus 20 by 6 is equal to minus k times. It's 100 by 2 is 50 minus 10 is 40. This is first equation. Now again, agar the final temperature is T. So I can write T minus initial is 40 divided by 6 is equal to minus k. And it's T plus 40 by 2 minus 10 is second this divided first or second divided by first cut then so we'll get t minus 40 6 and 6 will be cut cancel out and we will have minus 20 and minus k and minus k will be cancelled out so it's going to be t plus 40 by 2 minus 10 divided by 40 okay so we'll get T minus 40 divided by minus 20, or we can we can write minus 2 here. This cross multiply it. So we'll get minus T plus 40 is equal to uh, it's going to be T plus 40 minus 20 by 2. So it's minus 2t plus 80 plus 80 is equal to t plus 20. So it's 3t is equal to 60. Hmm, I think I made some calculation mistake. Um, it's a t minus 40 is equal to by 6. So t minus 40 is okay. And it's a k t minus 40 plus, uh, by 2 is to minus t naught is 40. Okay. Hmm. So we have this minus 2 here. Minus t 2t plus 80 is equal to t minus t minus t plus 20 by 2 it's minus 2 t okay so here is a mistake two is missing so it should be four actually I'll make that wrong minus two say multiply here is a mistake let's see sorry now, what I can do, minus multiply, it's minus 2t plus 8t is equal to t, it's t plus 20 divided by 2. So it's minus 5t plus 160 is equal to t plus 20. So 60 is equal to 140. So t is equal to 
Okay. So do five T. Sorry. It's minus four T plus there's some disturbance and it's T plus twenty. So five T is equal to one forty and T is equal to twenty eight degrees Celsius. This is the answer. Hmm, no, 29 is the, 28 is the answer. The last question, okay. It's saying a tennis ball is dropped from on the floor from a height of 9.8 meters. It rebounds to a height 5 meter. Ball comes in contact with the floor for 0.2 seconds, the average acceleration. You know that, agar humne, suppose this floor hai. Or if we have to fall from 9.8, so just before uh, coming in contact with the ground, u is going to be under root 2g, means 10 or into 9.8. This is the u. And v, if this is 9.8 meter, and if this is how much it is going, it's going uh, by 5 meter. So this v must be under root 2g, into 5. This is the V. So V is going to be 10, means 10 meter per second. And this is going to be 4, 9, 49. Uh, it's a 196, means 14 meter per second. Okay. Now, agar main direction lo. Okay. So direction mein baad mein kar Tab just magnitude likha. So average acceleration is V minus U by t likh sakta hu agar v likhna chahu to it's positive so it's 10 minus of u likhna chahu it's minus 14 divided by time is t t is 0.2 second so a average is 140 sorry one um, it's 240 by 0.2 is 10 So it's 100, it's 12, sorry, it's 24 divided by 0 0.2, it's 10 means 120 meter per second square is the acceleration, 120 is the answer. So this is the final, so thank you so much. Uh, this video ko dekhne ke liye or that's all for today. We have solved all the questions. Okay. Thank you.